second quarter getting ready to go. Booker Corrigan, Ty Zanders, and Christian Payne bringing you the call. 2-0 Gilman leads Georgetown Prep. Gilman, home whites, Georgetown Prep, road blues. Second quarter brought to you by McDonough School Girls Lacrosse Camp. If you have a young lady who's looking to improve at the sport of lacrosse, go to McDonough.org Booker, and I'll tell register. you one thing. If you're a, uh, a young lady and you're playing lacrosse, go to the McDonough camp because they don't lose games. Just yeah. step foot on that <laughs> campus and you'll become, you know, one of the best players of all time. They do have a the winning U. streak. Yeah. They do have a winning streak that is monumental. Now with the clear for prep, Kyle Strang. Strang will step it in. Prep looking to break the ice a little bit here. I think they've kind of found their identity a little bit. A couple shots, but nothing too dangerous thus far from the Hoyas. You can probably count in one hand the past few years when Georgetown Prep's been shut out in the corner. And credit, like you said, Brooks Matthews and that Gilman defense. I know he gets a lot of help from his assistant coaches, Damian Davis, and the great Owen Daly. Absolutely love Owen. I know you his love those Kim, Eagles. Yeah, well, his wife Kim just gave birth. They had another one. They have a daughter, Kira, son, Owen the fourth, or as we like to call him, the Ocho. Shot goal inside, Georgetown Prep on the board. <laughs> Tanner Holdfield, nice little pick and curl, receives that with the left hand and sticks the corner. There we go, breaking the ice. Like you can hear us up in the booth, nice job by their junior attackman to get Prep on the board. Tanner Holdfield with the goal. Any relation to uh, Evander Holyfield? He name? is. He is his 15th cousin, twice removed. And rang a bell on right his away. mom's side. I thought so. That's why the name's spelled differently. But they are. He probably close. isn't. Probably isn't ear though. Whole yeah. ear. An entire ear. In yeah. its entirety. Evander with the right hook. Tanner Face with a righty rip. Face off win for Prep and Bear Ultimus backs it out as they look to really capitalize on some momentum here in the second quarter. Second quarter brought to you by McDonough Girls Lacrosse Camp. Book, this is an offense that is still forming an identity. A lot of new faces. Talked to Coach Gilman before the game, and he said, uh, unfortunately, a few guys out with the stomach flu. Throwing up on the bus, and uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but that's not good. No. Not good. Must be the uh, that old spring break bug or something. I don't know. I'd not go into that with him. And we got a flag down now. I don't know if this is going to be against the goalie McBride. Now that's a push. That'll also, even though it's a loose ball push, because there's a flag down, that will be a time serving foul as well. And don't think that referee Nigel Tufnell doesn't know these things. He is schooled on the basics. 9.48 to go second quarter. Georgetown Prep Gilman, one of the rites of passage into the spring. These two teams get together and play a great event every year. Here's Collins to start things off. I mentioned him in the pregame. Going to Notre Dame. And the foul is on the goaltender McBride and you have to serve your own fouls. I'll never forget when I was coaching Tyler Fiorito against Calvert Hall. He got a slashing penalty and Eric Oros, our backup goaltender who was simply playing so that we could practice and go full field and have an actual goalie in the other end, went in and he was not real confident about being in there against Calvert Hall, but he did hold them off. And we picked up the W. Man up opportunity, two men up for Georgetown Prep. They trail two to one here at Towson in Johnny Unitas Stadium. Perhaps Prep starting in a circle. Ultimus, and now it's down with Giblin. Giblin left side, gets it back. Creeping in, oh, but what a save. Backup goaltender 
Fitz Lee comes in and makes the save on the low shot. Gilman's got to be very careful about going off sides here. When you're down multiple men, that very frequently is a problem. Look at this. Is that Max Green? And there he's a pinball wizard. Oh, nifty little backhander. No dice, though. What a save. Thrilled with the way Will Raley's playing goaltender. Two to one, your score. Will Raley, no diggity. <laughs> Charlie nice Horry. Little, uh, nice little stop there. A little, little lefty swipe. But I like the creativity on the shot from, uh, from the Greyhounds coming in. Some may call it nifty. Some. Maybe I'm overusing that, but uh, the, the legal limit in Baltimore County is four and a half. There is, there is no legal yes, limit. Yes, there is. Check the statutes and limitations. Oh, uh, come on. Oh, what a save! He's still on fire. Crazy Fitz Lee. With all due respect to uh, McBride, maybe keep him in for a yeah. little bit. Yeah, he's, he's playing awfully, uh, awfully well. Fitzy, coming up big. Both teams with one timeout each remaining. Eight minutes remaining, second quarter, second quarter brought to you by McDonough Girls Lacrosse Camp. Go to McDonough.org to learn how you can take your game to the next level. Beginners, intermediates, and advanced, June 24th to the 28th. And Ty, they didn't take your advice. They checked goaltender McBride right back into the game. I can dig that. Fitz Lee played admirably in his absence. Oh, well deserved. Fitzley getting plenty of fist bumps. General Lee. Driving to the cage there. Late flag comes. Gilman's Andy Matthews, the sophomore attackman, goes hard to the cage, gets his recommended daily allowance of iron, but does draw the foul. This man up brought to you by RipNet. Free social goal scoring app. Go on your iPhone or Android and download the app. It's simple and you will become a much better goal scorer. Defensemen and goalies, you want to get on there and see where people are scoring from. They're going to have leaderboards. They're going to have video. You want to be a part of RipNet now. It's like Twitter for goal scoring. And if you want to tweet me, I'm at ESPN Booker. The Twitterverse, place to be 24-7, but place to be tonight, County U Stadium. Man up, Greyhounds. I gotta say, I tried to tweet the score from uh, IL Preps. My phone was dead because it's so damn cold. Hate I, that. I'd like to ask you to watch your language. Sorry, Book. <laughs> My daughter Mary was here. You know, she'd be hitting she'd you. She'd tackle me. <laughs> she is the cursing police. 7.09 to go second quarter. Gilman on the man up. Max Green, right side, takes a little check. Elbows over a little bit. Not sure where it caught him. Might have been the elbow. Shot goal. Nice finish on the back side. Lefty finish. Couldn't see who it was. Chris Walsh getting the one Boy. more. Nice little uh, rotation, left to right. Moving the biscuit into the basket. Chris Walsh, three to uh, Craig Lachlan there, our three favorite hockey one. announcer. Three to one, your score. 6.48 to go second quarter. Gilman man up, clicking. And again, huge props to Fitz Lee, the goaltender who came in for McBride when he was serving his own foul. Pre-whistle violation by Gilman. It's going to be prep ball. All three of the Greyhounds goals assisted here tonight. Got to give a lot of credit to their coaching. Move the ball, keep it hot, and you will find the right option. Two assists by Tyler Too Cool Rule, number four. Formerly worn by Gordy Kerber. Correct. Oh, a little case of the bobbles on the near side, but Tommy Golden gets it back in his stick. And here's Giblin behind the cage. Little two-man game. Giblin a tough cookie. 
injured, but decided to play today in the uh, big game for prep. McLaughlin letting one rip, a last exchange. And now we have an issue down on the field. Timer, Carmen Dijon Domenico straightening out the clock, making sure that everything is fully square. Calls over rep referee Jeremy Beckwith, and they are going to sort it out. Now all three officials are coming together. They get the proper hand signaling. So they're either going to steal third base or we're going to get back going. Wrong sport, book. I just saw him hand signaling. I didn't know what they wanted to do. All right. Tanner Holofield, patient right now. The goal scorer, the Hoyas, looking to shake it up at X. Timmy Golden gets stripped, and now Gilman, six on four break. Moving the ball, Sims down the wing. Huge skip pass, moving his feet without the ball, Max Green. If you don't think that's awesome, you need awesome lessons. Tell you what, that was an absolutely awesome goal, but it started with a little bit of d midi surgery. On the other end, Peter Brown can do it both ways. Has a goal as well here tonight, but started that run with a nice poke check lift, and off to the races, hell's bells back to the way for Gilman, nice job. And that was just impeccable ball movement there. Really enjoyed watching that play come together. Start with Brown getting that turnover on the other end, and I have seen a Brown you know, make yeah. plays like that for years. Cooper Brown, as we mentioned, walking Connor the dog yeah. across the uh, midfield line. Nice play there. Great face-off win for Georgetown Prep, but now getting doubled is Jack Olson. Moving pick, that's a good call. It was about a half a second after the ball was possessed by the Gilman Defender, unfortunate, but that's why you call release. Townsend Brown getting some time here for Coach Kevin Giblin, along with Kyle Strang. Shot goal! Outstanding. Number 13, Jack Olson. Olson with the outstanding curl, big lefty shot. You know, not, not the above average speed on it, but that was the placement he was looking for. Just picks that bottom right corner. Bottom corner, always an underrated spot to shoot. You know, most kids like to get sexy and shoot upper left, you know, low to high, upper right. But Olsen find the right placement there. He's a sophomore, bound for Hopkins. Shoot for the left pinky, my friends. Off stick hip. Case in point, Olsen. 4-2 to two your score, second quarter action on Cuda.com. Nice fake there. Yeah. I've only seen this long sticks have those uh, stick skills. Second quarter brought to you by the McDonough Girls Lacrosse Camp. Go to McDonough.org and register for that great camp. It takes place June 24th to the 28th. McDonough Girls Lacrosse Camp run by McDaniel head coach Muffy Bliss. Great shake and bake move by Kyle Strang, but ball pops out. Early season, cold weather assist on that one for the Gilman defense. I'm sure Strang watched uh, little Allen Iverson from the crib. <laughs> little shake and bake, but nice job by Gilman to clear. They've done really nice work on all levels of the field, whether it's been transition stick work or the clearing game. Greyhounds looking pretty impressive so far. And expect such great programs like this to have the fundamentals down. The simple things go a long way. Sims with the shot and pays the price. But a nice save by goaltender Will Raley for Georgetown Prep. Score remains 4-2, to 3.25 to go second quarter. Nice toe drag shot goal. Georgetown Prep closes it to four to three. Credit that one to Brendan Collins. 
That's what Brendan Collins can do. He will make you pay. You give him a step, he's going to give you that fake, nice little uh, face dodge. And I mean, that's the first move that you learn when you start to play lacrosse. Face dodge, a perfect example of Brendan Collins sticking a nice goal and making this thing interesting. 4-3, Greyhounds still with the one goal advantage. And you can bet that Collins wants to have a big night tonight. In the prep, in prep's loss against PVI, he went one for 11 shooting. And really, quite frankly, he's a great shooter. Sort of a surprise to see that, but Collins staying it there. Timeout, Georgetown Prep. And Ty, I got to ask you, who's Paul VI? VVI. Paul the Sixth. Okay. Right, I just wanted to make sure we were on the I same page. I hate yeah. Roman numerals, but hate's a strong word. Hate, you mean, can you really hate a Roman numeral? I do. Okay. Well, you're allowed to. I'm yeah. just, I just, you know, I'm just trying to think just of a world it. with no hate. <laughs> Second quarter brought to you by McDonough Girls Lacrosse Camp. You're watching CUDA.com. If you want to be a better coach, better player, or better parent, register for CUDA.com. It's only $44.95. Of course, the games of the week are free. It's a service that we provide to you. And please support our sponsors because they make it possible for us to have the great Maddie Cruz and Dual Cam Productions bringing you the video support. Maddie Cruz, a legend in his own right. Without question. And at the break, Maddie Cruz teaching me some nifty little tricks with Final Cut Pro. Good, good all around. Good guy. Multimedia good. man. Will McBride with the clear for Gilman. 2.25 to go now, second quarter. Gilman up four to three. Circle offense right now. Driving to the cage, Will McBride. Shot gets backed up and here's Sims. Tyler Rule comes out of the dodge, gets it behind. And Chase Wittich getting some minutes now for the Gilman offense. Whistle blows and we get a timeout. timeout. And Gilman timeout. will pause for a moment with 140 left in the half. The second quarter brought to you by McDonough Girls Lacrosse Camp. And we got to remind you, get to Food Lion and pick up some Skeeter snacks. Absolutely delicious and absolutely nut free. If you have anyone on your child's team who has a nut allergy, get to Food Lion and buy yourself and the team some Skeeter snacks. Gilman Ball coming out of the timeout. They're going to give it to Peter Brown. And Will McBride, top center. Bride gets it to Max Green. Now it's behind with Tyler Rule back out to Brown. You've got to suspect if they don't threaten the cage here, we might get our first timer on. Swim move on the inside. Pass goes through but backed up well on the back side. Andrew Gemma. Gemma, member from last year. Nice save by Will Raley. Prep really riding Raley so far. Great job by number two to stand strong between the pipes. Solid play actually by both goalkeepers here tonight. McBride on the other end as well. And my boy Fitz Lee. Old Fitzy. Oh yeah, can't forget about Fitzy. Both teams have used their two timeout allotment, so we are playing it through. 21 seconds to go in the first half. Prep possession. This is McLaughlin. McLaughlin inside roll. 
Goal line extended. Ball finally dislodged by that Gilman defense. And now we're going to get a long shot from the outside, screened. But McBride able to fight it off. And 4-3 to three will be your halftime score. Remember, get to Food Lion and get some Skeeter snacks. And make sure you register for that girls lacrosse camp at McDonough School. Let's talk about, Ty, that Under Armour All-American Underclassmen event. It is the premier recruiting event of the entire summer. Right here on campus at Towson University. Uh, definitely my favorite event of the year. So many coaches line the sidelines to see some of the nation's best. Ten regions, play for championship on Sunday afternoon. Really awesome event. And I know I was tweeting about that event when, back when I was in high school. I mean, that, that's how superb the event was. You must be very young. Yeah. 